This is a quick video that, to show how to use load uh, and use Open Studio measures uh, in Honeybee. This is a still work in progress. The components are under work in progress here. You can see there are two. One is for loading a measure and the other one is for applying a measure to an Open Studio model. I mean there are different type of uh, Open Studio measures uh, but this one is like for Open Studio model. It's not, again, it's a work in progress. I want to just show you uh, workflow and actually a kind of like a problem that we have in the workflow that that shows you like how, also show you how to solve that. So let's say I want I downloaded this measure uh, and I want to implement it. This is a, a Office HVAC radiant with uh, dose. Is it how people pronounce it? I don't know. Uh, outdoor air system, dedicated outdoor air system. So uh, let's say I want to use this measure. The first thing is I need to load it. So if I connect it to this component, it should load it. But now you see it gives me an error. And if I read the error, it says it's failed to load the measure arguments. You need to regenerate measure.xml file. Uh, if you know the structure of the measure, here, if I go to the folder, uh, actually, I'm just there. I can copy paste it here. So you can see the, the, the structure of all the folders is like this. There is a file called measure uh, XML that should have all the input uh, arguments so I can read the input arguments and generate them here. But this is not always the case. Um, some of the measures are old so they don't have it. Uh, here is a link to a discussion that you can go and read it more. But uh, the solution to that is uh, is to use Open Studio application to regenerate the measure XML. So how to do that? Uh, first, I go ahead and I open uh, Open Studio application. And then what I really need to do is to go here in measure. And if you see here, there is a sync project measure with library. Uh, when I click here now, you see nothing is happening. but if I change the measure in, in somehow, then it will show up here and then I can click update, which this update will generate that measure uh, XML for me, that it will generate a new measure that XML for me that is fixed and I can really use. Uh, I, I'm not still sure if you can do this with Open Studio API. I assume at some point we can do this so you don't have to go through this. And I think uh, NREL people, Open Studio guys will fix the measures on uh, BCL at some point again I guess. Uh, I'm not sure. So let's go ahead and do this. So all I need to do is to open the measure. Uh, let's open it in Notepad++. Here's the measure. All I need to do is I need to go here and just do for example this. I just press enter here. So now something has changed in the file. I just save it. I press Control S and I'm done. If I go back in uh, the Open Studio app and say sync project measures with library. Oh, nothing happened because I need to load the measure first. So this measure is under HVAC here. So just add it here. Now if I say sync project measure with library. Uh -huh. Well, <laughs> that's interesting. Uh, let's go ahead and now after load, I change it again. Hello, so okay another enter and save. Is this the right measure? Yeah, this is the right measure. Okay, let's go back here. Sync project. And this time it showed up. Did it show up last time too? I don't know. Like So apparently like you need to load it first and then change it. Anyways, this is just like a workaround. So I don't think there is something right or wrong for it. So I just press update here. And it says one measure uh, updated. So what really happened is now this XML file is is just generated as like is today and is now. So if I go back now to Grasshopper and uh, reconnect this, you will see this time it will work and it will generate a uh, a new component for me, which is uh, like which is created based on this measure. Maybe you see an error the first time that you did this. That Grasshopper gives you an error that. Like you can't do this. Like you, you're expi you're expiring a solution between a solution, something like that. Just click. There is a box that you can click. Just ignore this. Don't show it and press OK. I mean that's again something that we can fix later. But right now I really want to get the workflow to work and then 
uh, we'll get back to that and you can see here you can see like this is a uh, for example it says apply recommended availability and then you can see down there it says boolean true or false so you can change the value so current value is true you can change it to false if you want I just leave the default values uh, now I can connect it to this component uh, and I always have this issue with grasshopper when I do this uh, and then it gives me an error unable to make is uh, already open local rm reference before assignment let's finish this let's run it again that was an error with uh, open studio run manager which is typical so whenever that happened, just rerun it, it should work. I honestly don't know why that happened. Uh, I think I just pause this and then uh, open it again when when, when this is uh, done and then we, we see some report. Okay, the analysis is done. You can see it gives me a report running the simulation passed. If it fails, it gives you an error here. Uh, and now all the files are generated here. So if I go and open this out.osm uh, in this folder, it should have this system assigned. So let's go and check it in Open Studio and see if it's already assigned. Uh, I just copy data only. I go back to you know, Open Studio, File, Open. Uh, oh, actually, I'm on the same thing. So if I open out, you see it just generated this 10.23, 10.22. I open the file. Uh, I don't want to save this. Okay, now if I go down here in systems, and I clicked here, it's loading, I think. Okay, yes. So there should be, here we go. This is the air loop, hot water loop, uh, water loop, all this stuff. So the measure it is. Uh, implemented to this uh, correctly as far as I can see and then you can check all the parameters and all the stuff uh, again it's uh, a, and you can see you have the OSM file if you check the folder you have the IDF file um, here if we go back uh, wherever not, not in the measure folder in the other folder that the file is generated uh, if you get go back here, there is an idea file, so you can use this to run. It's not like you really need to go into Open Studio; you can just use it. But still, it's uh, pretty much work in progress right now. But because there was a, like a high level of excitement and people wanted to use it, uh, d d like uh, we are just getting this to work right now. So if you found any bug uh, or anything, let us know on GitHub or Grasshopper Group, and uh, we will get it fixed. Uh, thanks for watching.